All right. Well, this is where uh, my ARCA race is starting. I was in the practice. It switched to qualifying. Game crashed because it always crashes at Talladega. There's something really wrong with Talladega, and it constantly crashes there. So now I'm waiting for it to decide that I'm not actually in there. I can't forfeit, obviously. There we go. So, uh, Oh, no iRacing's already running, so we, uh, we we can't actually do anything here. So, um, yeah, I think now we've got to go through the whole BS of stopping the service and then starting it, which is always fun. So if you don't know how to do that. Well, first we're going to end task, and, uh, yeah, then, I'm going to go into my iRacing folder, not the documents folder, but on the actual thing. Maybe the UI just needs to be killed, too. Give me a second here. We'll just kill it all. I think that'll work. There really needs to be a button when that pop-up happens that says iRacing's already running to say, oh, we'll shut it down and restart it so that I can actually get in to my damn race because Talladega is so broken. So when you shut that service down, you have to go in and manually start the iRacing service, which, let's go here, uh, let me pull this up, so, back here, I'm now in my iRacing service, start iRacing service, yes, and actually, I think I needed to kill the helper service, is what it was, which I also did. Now we'll go back in, and yes, I always launch the UI from the forums because the forum auto login actually works, whereas the uh, members auto login works half the time. And so I've just gotten used to going to the forums to open the game rather than the website. But here we are. Now we're loading in after all of that. So in case anyone's ever ran into that, shut off everything iRacing in your task, uh, yeah, task manager. Then go into whatever drive you have iRacing actually installed where the tracks and cars are installed and start iRacing service and then you should be good. And that is the quick fix. Now, if it crashes again from going from qualifying to race, I'm going to be kind of pissed off. But, yeah, Talladega, there is something broken where in between sessions, it seems like more people get kicked from it than uh, normal. There we go. We're ready to race now. Still waiting on two people, so we didn't slow things down. Thankfully, we made it back in time. So that we didn't get shoved all the way to the end of the thing. But we will be starting 20th. Uh, we've got Austin, Justin, and well Benjamin White. He's going to win it. Dirt Gavin in here. And then uh, Jeremy's in here as well. I'm going to let all the cars load up. Steve's in here as well. And, uh, well, we've survived the transition to grid, so that's good. But, uh, yeah, let's just hope that we're done crashing for the day. One left to green. Line up on the so, outside. I always hate this week. Oops. 
fix that as well. There we go. Um, no caution super speedway racing is just pretty much draw a card and find out where you finish. That's kind of how it works. Yeah, there's a little bit of skill. Um, normally, you don't want to qualify for super speedways if there's cautions on and just take your time, work your way up. For this and for draft masters with no cautions, you want to qualify. Just try to stay as far forward as you can because if you get stuck behind the wreck, you're going to have to lift. You're going to have issues. You're going to lose time. And there's no way to make up that time. So, uh, since we're starting from the back and I had all those issues, um, we are just going to do what we can here. And, uh, yeah, we changed the color on the car as well. We're not blue anymore. It's uh, gray. So, going even more boring than it was. I haven't felt like painting cars. So, I um, haven't really felt like sim racing or doing anything. Um, just, just too many good games out right now. And, uh... It seems like oval racing hasn't changed a whole lot in the last six, seven years. Kind of been the same race over and over and over. I just really, I need to just go do dirt racing. I keep just, I keep forgetting about official dirt racing. I need to just go do it, but, um, yeah. I always just end up running only paved stuff or road. Also need to think about doing off-road stuff. Haven't done that in a while, so... Man, frames are in the tank. That's not good. So yeah, I think if we can, we're going to try to work our way forward. I don't know if we can or not. Uh, Got to be careful about running into anyone. We do not have the speedway nose on these, so... Get ready, going green. Or the super speedway nose. But even the super speedway nose was pretty good at spinning people. The pace car is off. Be ready. Take a look up front because we don't have start zones. Double check that I have. Uh, oh, green, my green. frames are so bad. Hard parts over. Now we just need to look for the flow. See where the momentum is. Already got three lanes forming up. Top side has uh, just opened up. This guy is going to be a bit slow. The 16, not the car we're in front of. But it looks like top line is not going. Back here, and I'm going to hit the wall. I haven't done a lap yet, so. But it is Talladega. Should be able to figure it out fairly easy. We passed Dirt Gavin and we have found uh, Austin. He has survived lap one.
Now being up top, not best. Because uh, the wreck is coming up here. Oh my god, what is going on with that? That was weird. That was really strange on entry. Didn't want to get stuck behind the 16. He is struggling like I am, but I'm just going to have to live with it for the moment. Time to drop back. It looks like that guy's went all the way down to the inside. Big check up in the middle. I had to check up, so going high is not the best idea, but. Should be able to clear the six and move up if we want, but looks like top side's going to die off because they drop the outside, so we'll just stick middle because I'm feeling like I have 500 IR when I enter on the high side. But, we found ourselves near the front-ish. Nowhere to go now. Just gonna have to follow momentum. Take it one car at a time. see the top line moving forward. Pretty much we need to just find, uh, see the three car? Yeah, Benjamin's the three. Just do whatever he does. If we can get attached to his bumper, we're gonna get second or fourth. Second, three, fourth, somewhere in there. I think Steve is jumping to our outside, or he might be on our inside, I don't know which. down. No one in the bottom line is going to move up. You kind of get trapped there. But, yep. Top line just got around and dropped down into our line, so that's going to back us up more. <laughs> but, now people are moving up to the top line, so we'll just stay down here. Just got to be patient. Nothing else you can do. I mean, you can try to force four wide, but you might as well just drive your car into the wall. And it's not even ramped up yet, because uh, everyone behind us is just waiting. Once they decide they want to try to start going forward, then it is going to matter a bunch on track position, but we're 
we're almost halfway. They're starting to look antsy. Jeremy's coming up here. Bottom line is falling apart and white is blinking. That could cause a big disturbance. It also causes the car pushing him to drop off of his bumper. And uh, so they fall back just a bit. Middle line is definitely not going forward. If anyone would drop down in front of the line, the bottom line, we'd start going forward. But it seems like the front three are content on being three wide and just seeing who gets ahead at the line. So they're not changing up their lines and causing one line to slow down over the other. So, uh, not much we can do. Just sit here. And, uh, a random little contact is really the only thing that's going to change things up. Because people will start squeezing down a little bit more as the race goes on, and a little more, and a little more. Oh, and we got a lap car coming up. I'm sure he will go low. People love to go low when they're the lap car and just cause a massive issue making three lanes move instead of just moving themselves to the wall. But even if they move to the wall, three wide, trying to go four wide, prediction code usually gets involved. Alright, so... Still nowhere to go. Got some changing happening up front. Blanking car went to our line. He tends to immediately go for the repass when he uh, gets someone dropped down in front of him. I've noticed that with him. He's very quick to get back into that position, which is probably why he wins nearly every race I see him in. And where is this guy going to go? Looks like he's gone high or below the yellow line. He's went high. Okay, we all survive. I think we need to get up in front of the seven. And then try to drop down in front of the 13. Momentum. Just keep that momentum going forward. But now we have a chance to drop down in front of the 13 if he backs off far enough. Try not to pinch too much. Try not to be squirrely. I'm getting squirrely. Up to 10th and we can see the front three cars. We're fourth in line on our row. The middle line has two people blinking now. That's gonna slow them up. Got ahead of that guy. I don't see this line going forward anymore. We'll follow White. 
He drops down low. That should allow the middle line to pull forward. And five more laps of this. close as we can. Hope that the five car doesn't blink out. Top line got a run. Didn't think they would have that big of a run, so they've done well. Nope, that's on me. Got yeah, swirly. Justin's doing a great job of uh, getting the five forward as much as he can with this nose. to get as close to him as I can without hitting him. <laughs> Try to make us faster. Oh, we just shoved up. That was almost bad. Top line is moving forward. On the straightaways, in the corners it dies off, but it's still gaining position. I don't know if Justin's overheating now, or why we've all of a sudden died off, but he might be overheating. Looked like he was trying to get a bit of air there. I would think if he was overheating, we'd be overheating, so it might not be. They got all jacked up below us. We're four wide. Only so much I can do here. And the guy's blinking. Okay, we've survived. They're still wrecking behind us. It's gonna be four wide again. They're wrecking. I think we're still four wide. Justin gets jacked up there. Oh, I think we're like five wide there. All right, the 11's dying off because he's got no one pushing him. Okay, we survived. Somehow, Benjamin's back into the optimal position. Try to get a run and pop to the outside. I don't think we're going to even be able to get a run. Not going to happen. Holy shit. That was crazy. Great job to everyone up here on keeping their cool. Uh, we get 8th. 
and uh, I think zero incidents. Nope, we got a 4X out of that. Yeah, we were only four wide for like two, three laps. It felt like it was probably only for a little bit, but woo! We survived. We get eighth. We were supposed to get ninth. Didn't make quite the right moves, but we, uh, yeah, we did as good as we could. And I think. Amazingly, uh, Benjamin did not win, but somehow he still ended up near there, even though he was all jacked up and sideways, it looked like, when he started blinking. Holy crap. All right, well, we did what we could, and we didn't get in the wreck, so that's a positive. And we were four wide. Let's just... Let's just take a look at this. So, I'm on a single monitor. I don't know how much room I have around me. So, I just hold my line the best that I can. And they got all jacked up on the back stretch, and we ended up four wide. And I don't know how much room I have to the outside, because the outside is right there in the corners, and I can't just adjust. So... They get jacked up here, and they're four wide ahead of us, so I just stick with Justin. We got Jeremy on our outside, and I'm just staying with Justin. I can't look to the left or right. I've just got to hold a line. He's got time to back out. He chooses not to. Fine, whatever. Outside's coming down. He shoves up into us. And then we're just holding on with Justin again. And then that contact sends him up. So that's on me. But again, he had a moment to back out, but it's the end of the race, so no one's going to. Then instantly after that, 14 just gets completely just put in the sucker hole so now we're four wide again Benjamin somehow saves that and then doesn't even lose momentum we're still four wide now we're three wide now we're four wide we nearly get five wide it felt like yeah there was a moment right here where I was getting really squeezed up so I couldn't do anything. We're four wide. Still four wide. Still four wide. And at that point, I just got to back out. Like, I had to back out when Justin came up because um, that was just right there. I had to just lift off and back out. Otherwise, we were going to be in a wreck. So that is... Uh, and that is why we just uh, back out of that and not not have issues. So But, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. Let's uh, take a look at the results. And... 33 I rating, 19 safety rating. We lose, but that's fine because we're back up close to 4.0s or higher. And we get 8. So... Um, yeah, not terrible. We survived all of the four wide. So, hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching.